So last time I had this video, which talked about why your catheters are not able to draw blood, not complete. There's a lot of other factors there, but talked about CVR and catheter to vein ratio. Now let's talk about what happens if the catheter goes the other direction. In the previous video, we had blood flow going from the extremities to the heart. So here is what it'll look like when you have the catheter tip pointed towards the extremity and not towards the heart. Okay, you're gonna have the opening pointing at the flow of the blood return. Now I know what you're thinking. If that's pointed towards the way the blood flow is going, maybe that will be one way that we can draw blood. Yes and no, you gotta be careful. First of all, I'm not recommending this because it should be done in a very controlled setting, meaning one clinician ever dealing with that IV, also for frequent blood draws, possibly in the OR for long procedures, and they need those frequent blood draws. But outside of that temporary, very controlled setting, there's too much room for error. But I know we're all curious about it. In a very controlled setting, it could save the patient multiple sticks. So here we go. So outside of injecting medication into the reversed site, hemolysis is the biggest battle. So here are all the different ways that can cause hemolysis of the blood. And I left that extra dot for anybody who wants to add in the comments to let us know how else we can hemolyze the blood. But we're going to talk about what's relative to here. If you want me to talk about the other possible ways and go into depth about how to hemolyze the blood, let me know and then I'll go over it for it. But tell me in the comments so I don't waste my time putting videos that people don't want to hear about. Anyways, so the most common issue that we're fighting is hemoconcentration with this reverse site. So as the reason why you have this reverse site most likely is because the patient has a difficult stick, you want to get constant blood draws, or you want to prevent having to stick the patient multiple times. Well, if it's really snug, again, that catheter vein ratio is inappropriate, you're going to cause pooling of blood here, and that pooling is, cause, is going to cause hemoconcentration. The problem with hemoconcentration is that uh, fluid to blood RBC gets imbalanced, the ratio gets imbalanced, and that can actually rupture the cells while it's pooling in there. So that's something you have to fight, but it's an easy fight, you just waste, right? You waste 10 to 20 uh, milliliters or whatever it is to uh, get rid of however much of the vein was pooled, okay? Shear stress is the next common thing. So when you're reversing it, there's gonna be actual force and flow, and that's gonna increase the pressure coming out into the tube. Extra added velocity from the positive pressure of the veins and the negative pressure of the tubes can cause that shearing. Also trauma, so as that blood gets hits the bottom of the tube, that can cause uh, the cells to rupture as well. And of course turbulence because it's in an awkward spot. 